Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. General Technology Knowledge. Yes, in the previous video, we already learned about uh, electrical diagram vs. Uh, ladder logic diagram using uh, schematic step 7 version 5.6. Okay. So uh, today I have uh, one more topics that related to uh, electrical diagram vs ladder logic and one more for uh, function block diagram. Okay. So uh, in this two section we already learn about the electrical diagram and uh, ladder logic. So today I will add one more for uh, function block creation. Okay, so uh, they are uh, similar for uh, this one and this one and also this one. So if we create a function block, we can apply to all this. Okay, so uh, to create function block, Let's go to our software, Schematic Manager. Okay, so uh, this is a software, Schematic Manager. So uh, let's open. Okay, and then uh, create a new project. Uh, I will create the one more for uh, folder. Example uh, FB block creation. Okay, so uh, this is a part two FB block. Okay, so click Brow and then to choose the new folder that we already created okay so uh, first create the new uh, schematic station I will choose a schematic as when 300 station and then go to the hardware configuration that we already learned in the video previous video so uh, I will go fast because we already learned so first go to the rack and then create the new uh, power supply right so create the new power supply and then create the new CPU example I choose the CPU 314 for uh, this project version 3.3 okay and then I will create the uh, IO module first go to the digital input module second go to uh, digital output module and also analog just created yes analog input analog output okay and then go to uh, simulation click simulation okay and then go to the run p then go to the step 7 uh, set temporary uh, project go to uh, PLC sim MPI and then click OK ok right now we already uh, open the simulation and then we will save the project and go to download here 
select all and download to the CPU okay and then close the hardware okay right now CPU is running you see so uh, to create the function block go to the block first here is a block and uh, right click create the function block okay insert new object and function block example uh, function block number one fb1 and i will choose the later language for create the function block and then click uh, ok so uh, let open the fb1 and then zoom out, sorry, zoom in for easy to uh, look. So, uh, first go to input because uh, we have two input, right? And one output for control. So, I need to create the two input. Okay, for input number one, example, I choose the stuff. Okay, the data type boolean address 0, 0.0, and then uh, command. We can say stop command. Okay, stop command. One more input, right? For start, and then uh, start command, stop command, command, stop command, right? Okay. And uh, one more output, right? For uh, command start, okay. So I can say output, and then uh, for example, command start motor, okay. So uh, right now we already uh, create the variables for input and output okay so let uh, create the function block so uh, I will choose the normally close right for stop so I can say stop okay this one and then uh, one more for normal the uh, open so I can say start And one more for output, right? So output, I will choose the coin for output. And then I can say output. Okay. I can say output. And then uh, we have uh, one more for hold the signal, right? So uh, I can say can use this one and then choose the NO and this one should be output okay so uh, right now we already created the function block so let's save and then uh, we will download to the our uh, CPU. Okay. So uh, we will call this block to the OB block for testing. Okay. Uh, this network number one example uh, motor control one. Okay. So I will call the fb block 
number one to this network so to call just drag and drop the block yes so uh, we will saw the two output and one uh, sorry two input and one output okay for example uh, db1 yes and this one we will uh, assign the address for uh, input example m0.0 m0.1 example the output start from q0.0 okay okay so this is a function block that we already created so save the project and then uh, we will download all this block to the CPU again because we uh, just add and modify the block so select the block all blocks and then click download and choose all yes so uh, let's check our CPU yeah this CPU right now is running so we can open the OB1 and then online to check the data yes so uh, we can uh, test it example start from 0. Point m0.0 point zero. so uh, if m0.1 on the output q0.0 point zero will on okay so uh, I will test okay you see the uh, q0.0 point zero is on when uh, m0.1 point one is on if I want to stop, I just uh, turn on the M0.0. .0. Okay, so it stops. So it is the same the ladder, but uh, if we uh, create the function block, we can apply to uh, more block. Uh, without uh, create the same time okay so if we want to use this block for control the motor number two we just add the network number two and then uh, drag and drop this function block to this one and then for example db2 And uh, for example, start from I0.0 .0 for stop input and uh, I0.1 for start input and Q0.1 for uh, motor number 1. So uh, we can uh, use it. Okay, we must download again because we just add the new block. Okay, CPU is running. So let's check the block again. Yes. Right now we uh, have two motors. Okay, I will uh, command this one. Motor control number two. Okay. So if we have the block, the sample block mean the library block, we uh, no need to create. Uh, more the 
later we just drag and drop to use so uh, let's test for motor number 2 start from i0.0 so I will change this one to uh, okay we can add one more for testing IB so uh, it start from 0 0.1 so I0.1 on yes the Q 0 0.1 is on if we want to stop we just turn on this one the motor number two is stopped okay this one also on on okay so this is a concept convert from uh, electric call diagram to ladder diagram and function blocks diagram okay so uh, thank you very much for watching my video and uh, please don't forget like and subscribe my video also to get more new video that I will create uh, next time okay so thank you very much again and see you next video